Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the Round Table Hold, gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new Tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. There's nothing left. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young... She's a servant, she's been my companion. I've lost count of them. Honestly. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Those who live in death all the more.
Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, my thanks, great champion. You are very warm. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do? Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers?
May the Golden Order shine through you. What do you need? I have little time to spare. Oh, are you aggrieved? At the notion you are but a visitant here, then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These namby-pamby tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Well, I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then.